Hi everyone, welcome back to Workday series. In today's video, I am going to show you how to hire contract employee in Workday. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, you need to log in the Workday portal. In the search bar, type candidate name. Once the current employee profile appears, click on that. After that, it will go to the next page. So here you can see small orange icon. So click on that. From the drop menu, select the higher option and choose the contract worker option. Once you're done, then you'll go to the next page. So here you need to type the organization name where the employee will be assigned. Then click on the existing pre-hire if you already created the account for this particular employee then click on that okay then other hiring process will be start so here you need to uh, mention the date of joining okay then reason for hire after that you will go to the next section job details so in the job details section you can see worker type job profile time type location so all these information it's mandatory so you need to fill all the information then move into the contract details so here you can see supplier so what is supplier means consultancy or agency who going to supply the employee so this is called a supplier and then payment terms so payment terms means the supplier will be paid by the company Suppose I took 30 days. So 30 days means if supply send the invoice by 1st of September. So company should pay the amount to the supplier by uh, you know uh, 1st of October. So th within 30 days they have to make a payment to the supplier. Contract end date. Okay. When the contract supposed to end. Uh, we need to mention that also. Then payment rate currency then uh, the frequency also payment frequency so generally company pay the uh, salary to the employees monthly wise so I just mentioned uh, monthly after that you can see here working time details so here default weekly hours schedule weekly hours so default means generally company set the you know the hours okay so 20 hours uh, will be the default weekly hours and schedule means worker is supposed to work as per the agreement so 20 hours so these two are same then after that i'll go to the next option uh, shifting okay day shift night shift whatever then you can click on that after that this is the last page okay then here you can add the information and review all the information whatever you uh, you know enter all the details and once you review everything then final part will be submit so you just submit the button so once you submit the button then you can view the details also and you can see the process has been successfully completed okay so that's uh, that's it so hope you understand how to hire contract employee in workday and if you uh, you know understand all the points then uh, you can like and subscribe our youtube channel because we are going to you know uh, release the more workday series and it will be help uh, also for you to understand the complete picture of workday so thank you very much and see you in the next class